Hey everybody and welcome to the next episode in our Summer School Spectacular where we're going to be looking at my accessory kit of doom. That's my bag of holding for all you D&D fans here on the latest edition of Laneside Reviews. Alright guys, so welcome back. As always, I am the Bearded Beast, Rob Johnson, and as I said, we're going to be looking at my accessory kit in what I consider a bit of an update video. For those of you who've gone back and watched some of the old episodes as I was preparing for the Pro Tour, you'll remember I, uh, I did a tournament prep video and talked about what I had in my bag and, and my accessory kit and other things that I brought to tournaments. Well, as I've grown as a bowler and gotten new experiences, I wanted to share with you what I'm now carrying so that I have the best opportunity to bowl my best. So why don't we get right into the kit and we'll see what I've got, what I've added, what I've removed, and why. All right, guys, here we are back at the bench at Laneside Pro Shop, and we're going to be taking a look at my accessory kit. Uh, now, this isn't a normal accessory kit that you guys can purchase. Uh, I picked this up actually at the World Series of Bowling from the guys at Turbo. They make actually an, a killer accessory kit uh, for both switch grip and for regular stuff. Um, this is actually a bathroom kit that I was given and I just liked it a lot for my accessories because of what I carry. So let me show you what I got. First thing I've got on the outside of the back here, well first, I carry this cool carabiner here. Um, when I fly, I can't take this one with me, but uh, at my home center, I take this one with me all the time, and all it is is a little carabiner uh, with a knife and a pair of scissors in it and a little file. Uh, it's kind of my emergency one that I've got just in case something happens. Uh, it also allows me, because it's a carabiner, to clip other things to my bag or my bag to other things. Uh, so first, in the top pocket here, usually I keep uh, medications or um, I have these long pads uh, that have like deep heat in them and stuff. If I have an injury that I'm nursing, especially um, if I'm cooling down between match play and uh, the regular games bowled or waiting for my chance to bowl in match play, I can slap something on from in here and uh, kind of keep my muscles nice and relaxed while I'm going. Um, yes, I'm injury prone. I know this, guys. Uh, in the side here, usually I will carry my other tools, um, my rasp, my knife, a bevel knife, things like that I can keep in the side. Uh, once again, if I'm flying, I can't take those on the plane with me, but in my regular check bag, I can. So let's open the sucker up. So, you'll, and you'll see why I like this thing. Um, just because I can hang it onto something and have it nice and open. I can hang it on my bag and have all my accessories there rather than having them spread out all over a table. So let's go through everything. Let's go through the top pocket here. So, in the top pocket we have uh, some muscle cream. Uh, once again, if I can't put a, uh, a long patch on something, because it won't stick, I can put some muscle cream on, especially if I've got uh, a tense muscle, if my bicep hurts, if my forearm is, is seizing up, something like that, I can put that on there. Um, I use a non-greasy version, that way it doesn't interfere with my tape, and it doesn't uh, discolor any of my shirts or anything I'm wearing, so I, I recommend that. Um, I keep a chapstick with me. Um, this one I picked up from a friend who works a, a, at this company, HGS, here. Um, you can actually use this on your uh, on your thumb on your fingers I've seen bowlers do that I don't understand why other than it makes the ball slippery um, I do that with tape anyway I actually just carry this in case my lips get chapped uh, especially when I was in Vegas um, it's really dry there go figure it's a desert um, so I keep chapstick with me uh, look don't judge me <laughs> um, I always carry with me extra inserts um, though I don't change my inserts as, as often as I should, 
There are situations where an insert will break. Um, I've had a ball get stuck in a machine and it's torn up an insert on me and then I can't get a proper feel, so I just keep inserts with me so I can change them. An emery board for fixing your nails. If you break a nail, you definitely want don't want to have jagged edges. You also don't want to have a jagged edge pushing into the side of your fingers because that'll cut you up. And Lord knows if you've seen my pictures on Facebook, um, I exert enough pressure that I've actually driven a nail through my finger uh, and had it bleed everywhere, which was really gross. Uh, speaking of nails, if you crack a nail, I always keep a pair of nail clippers with me. Um, <coughs> excuse me. These ones I like because they have a little area in them to hold on to the clippings so you're not dropping stuff all over the place, which is really gross. I don't want to see other people's um, fingernails all over the place, and I certainly don't want them on the bottom of my shoe. Next, I have... Uh, this is called uh, Wet n Wild Shine. It's uh, basically top coat, clear top coat for nails. Uh, if I split a nail, uh, I can apply this to it to give it a little bit of strength to it so it won't continue to split. Uh, also, if I am applying tape to my hand and I am sweating so much I'm going through antiperspirant or it's pouring down my arm and it's getting my tape wet, uh, I can apply this to the edges just to give it a little bit more adhesion. Um, also, if I am not the smartest and don't wear tape and tear my hand up, I can apply this over the area and then stick tape to it to keep uh, the blister down. Um, warning, however, if you put this up on top of a blister, A, it's gonna hurt a lot. Um, B, when you go to take the tape off of it, it is going to pull the blister off, just so you know. Uh, I don't want anyone doing it and then thinking, oh wow, that really hurt, Rob's an idiot. I'm warning you in advance. <clears throat> and last, but not least, my shoe stone. Brunswick makes these are really cool. Uh, with most uh, centers going powderless, and especially the Pro Tour going powderless, where it is illegal, and it, this is actually in the rules, and people don't listen to this, it is illegal to put a substance on your shoe or on the approach. This actually is the same as putting, uh, putting powder on it. It actually, you can rub it against your shoe and it'll bring the nap down and then it'll make it smoother for sliding. Uh, and it doesn't affect anybody else. So that's the top pocket. Next we have my tool section. <clears throat> I have my tape applier. If you watched our other video on the Tape Spectacular, uh, this thing is really handy. You can just put tape, boom, right inside there. I'll actually show you. Do to do. You can put tape right in there. It holds it nice and it has a little bit of a stem on here to push the tape down for you so it doesn't move when you're applying it. Super handy. Uh, it also has this back here that you can actually use to uh, put down the tape too if you don't want to put your thumb all over it. Then we have, of course, my scissors. Uh, these are turbo scissors. I really like them. Uh, one, because they've got this cool uh, rubber grip inside so that when you're using them, it's not all sharp over your hand. Uh, secondly, these things are stupid sharp. Um, I'm not sure if Turbo uses a laser or like the sun or something to sharpen these, but holy crap, are they sharp. Um, they will literally cut through fingers. Um, don't ask. Uh, lastly, a little thing that I picked up out while I was at the World Series is this cool little knife. Uh, I don't know who makes it. There's no label on it. Um, but it's a cool little travel pocket knife that you can use for cutting things. Um, you can use it in an emergency for beveling. You can use it for all sorts of little cool little things. Um, but having a knife with you at any one time is always really good, uh, especially if you're not carrying the larger tools, like a, a true bevel knife. Uh, if you've got to change inserts, you got to get a little bit of, of stuff out of the hole. This thing's awesome. <clears throat> and don't use these because you want to keep them sharp and you don't want to cut your freaking fingers off. All right, let's get into the meat of the bag. Uh, this pocket here, you can see I have all sorts of different tapes, different sizes. Now you're probably asking yourself, Rob, wh why do you have these little ones here? You, you have inserts, you don't need little tape. Um, well, if you guys know me, uh, I'm all about the community. And though it's probably not... Um, 
Probably not the best way to win. I don't want to win because somebody doesn't have the proper fit in their ball. They can't find the tape that they need. They're falling out of the ball. If somebody comes to me and asks me if I've got a piece of tape, I want to be able to give something to them. Um, in a large tournament even, I've done it. I, I know it's probably not the thing I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be cutthroat for the win, but the bowling community is more important to me than that. So if somebody needs something, I want to be able to give it to them. Um, and you know, you guys can light me up in the, in the messages there if you think I'm wrong about giving tape to other people because I don't care. I'd rather be a nice guy um, and do the right thing than be the guy that wins and everybody hates. So I have different thicknesses with me, different sizes, uh, and I always keep them in the front here. Because they're not on a roll, I like to keep them in a sealed bag. Uh, one, they don't bump around on other things and get peeled off the tape. Two, it keeps any moisture away from them, so it's a good thing. Uh, next, I have my wrister from Turbo. Um, I broke my wrist a few years ago, and I still get a little bit of pain in it. Uh, so I wear my wrister, and it just allows me to snug it up around my uh, wrist a little bit, give it a little bit more support. Um, I like it. It feels good. I've always done it. Stop judging me. Okay. Uh, next, I have my knee it. Um, this thing's really cool. It goes under the patella, your kneecap, um, and it reduces shock to your leg. So if you're having some knee issues, you can strap one of these suckers on, and it feels good. Um, which is different than when I use KT tape on my knee, which I have in a different kit. I take a lot of KT tape with me. Um, this is something I can slip on real quick if it's just um, a little bit of the impact is bugging me. So, uh, then of course I have ball cleaner. Lots of ball cleaner. Um, I clean my equipment after every, after every set. So, I mean, it keeps your cover stock good. Uh, it keeps your ball reaction the same, uh, and to be honest with you, if you're cleaning your equipment, you can better judge how your surface is, because as we bowl, your surface of your ball will change, and it'll let you know if you need to resurface. It also lets you know if there's any gouges, and you got to talk to somebody. Uh, here we go. We've got my chamois bag here. Um, this is my rosin bag. If um, I'm starting to sweat in my palm, uh, if I need to add a little something to my hand, just get the the uh, wetness off. I've got this here. I don't often use this. Uh, I used it when I was in Vegas because I was sweating like crazy. Um, in my normal house, I don't really, especially if you've got air conditioning, you don't often need it. But hey, why not have it? Uh, I'd rather have it not need it than not have it need it. All right, crazy glue. Why crazy glue? Um, so I can put inserts in. Now normally, you see this little one here. Uh, normally I carry my turbo zip it. Um, and that's what I use for my inserts. I carry this for everybody else. Um, because I want them to buy the turbo glue. Um, because it's awesome. And people keep stealing it from me. I keep going through bottles and bottles and bottles of it because they use it and it's so good, they steal it from me. So I got a little dollar store thing of crazy glue as an emergency backup in case somebody wants to borrow my glue. Um, and if they steal this, I'm not out my really good turbo glue. Um, maybe that's a little catty. I talked about the community and then I'm, I'm, I'm arguing about glue, but glue is expensive. I mean, come on, stop stealing my glue. Uh, let's see what else I got in here. Oh, oh, oh. Here is my Teflon tape from Turbo. This is uh, specifically for fast release. It has very little texture. It's extremely smooth. Um, it's also got a cool uh, ability to stretch, so you can really pull it tight, um, which is good when you want a little bit of protection or a little bit of slide without changing your grip because you're happy with how, it, how it's feeling. Boy, what else do I have in here? Uh, there's my black tape. Um, there's more black tape. That's my number one uh, tape that I use, the black. It also came in a cool red color. Uh, this was like a limited edition in the red, and I love the thickness of this. This is my go-to tape. Uh, then we've got, uh, here we've got our purple. Just different thicknesses, depending on 
You can see there's more red for me. You can see how much of this I use. Um, just depending on how much you need. And then of course we have my interchangeable thumb, the switch grip interchangeable thumb from Turbo. Um, I gush about this. I tell you guys all the time, if you want your ball to fit the same in every ball you throw, why not, you know, why not get an interchangeable? You're still gonna tape it, your thumb's gonna adjust a little bit, but easier to put in a piece of tape than having to tape 10 balls, or however many you have. And here's a little secret. I carry two of these. Um, you can see this one has tape inside it. I've already tiered my tape inside this one. Uh, this one actually has zero tape in it. And the reason I do that is I have a very common thumb size and uh, if somebody wants to try out my equipment, uh, not, uh, not necessarily in a tournament, but uh, while I'm bowling practice or something, if somebody wants to try out a piece of my equipment, uh, I can give them uh, one of my thumbs and they can try it, try it out. I have a very common spin, a very common thumb size. So it allows me to customize a thumb specifically for them so they can try something out. Um, not everybody needs one of these. I just do it. And... Doo -doo -doo. Ah, I got one more thing in here that's, that's kind of funny. Um, it, it's a sneaker ball. Um, it was given to me by George Lambert uh, when I used to work with him at Brunswick Zone Mississauga in Mississauga, Ontario. Um, and it's got, you know, I guess the stuff that keeps your shoes from smelling. Um, I keep it in my kit because it also absorbs um, moisture so that I never have to worry, depending on if it's raining out or whatever, that my, my stuff getting tacky or wet in my bag. Um, I don't think everybody needs one of these. It's just something that I found has worked really, really well for me. Um, also, if you have a towel or your knee it or your wrist it in there and you get all sweaty in it, and most people don't wash them, it keeps them smelling good so you don't smell like a hockey locker room. For you Americans out there, that's like baseball, but up with ice. Uh, I'm just kidding, guys. Go Blackhawks. Congratulations on your Stanley Cup. Um, so yeah, that is everything in my kit. Uh, now, if you think I've missed anything, I'd love to hear in the comments. And uh, yeah, this is it. This is what I take to tournaments. Now, this doesn't include my Aberlon pads for changing surfaces. It doesn't include my shoe, my shoe bottoms for changing, um, changing how I slide, and it doesn't include my KT tape. I have a kit of just uh, more medical things, uh, bandages, arm bandages, KT tape, things like that. Um, because I am trained in first aid, I always keep a bit of a first aid kit with me in case something happens in the lanes, you never know. So that's it guys, let's... Uh, Let's take it back to uh, the top, and uh, yeah, that's it. All right, guys, that about wraps up another edition of Summer School here from Laneside Reviews. I hope you guys are learning from what we're, we're giving you here. This is a great opportunity for you to test out some different uh, ideas and really grow as a bowler over the summer as we get ready for our fall leagues. So don't worry, we've got more to come. But until next time, guys, we'll see you lane side. This program sponsored by Turbo, driven to bowl, for all the quad two inserts and interchangeable thumbs we use in all of our videos. Dexter Bowling Shoes, the world's most advanced bowling shoe, the SST8. Bowlerama Berry, for all the lanes we bowl on. For birthday parties and corporate events, call now. Still searching for that perfect fit? With no residue and easy removal, Real Bowler's Tape really is the Real Bowler's Choice. Plantronics Rig, Stereo Headset and Mixer, Play More, Pause Less. And Logo Infusion, look the best, be the best, infuse your game, Logo Infusion.